Good afternoon and greetings from Bill Backen, Farmer Bill the Funds are at Mays Valley Farm Market and Winery. And here I am out in the, looks like the acorn squash patch. Wow, we got a lot of them. Well, maybe not to you big dog growers, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows, and they cranked. They cranked and they're big. They're big right now. Uh, it looks like they're letting them die off. We usually don't do this with a lot of our crops. Um, these got taken over by, it looks like powdery mildew here. Kind of having a, a rock and roll time. They're dying down. But there comes a point in the season where you just got to say I give on some crops, and this looks like it's one of them. Uh, we've been fighting blights and funguses and mildews just like crazy this year, as I mentioned in other videos. Um, we're either getting rained on, which is splashing the mud all over everything and, and moving disease around, or if we have sunny, dry days, they start out foggy as all get out. I, I'd say, oh, seven out of ten days where we've had sunshine, we've had fog in the morning, and as I mentioned earlier, the fog moves all these pathogens all over the place. And so we get out there and we try and protect the plants with fungicides where it's reasonable and economical, but there comes a point you just got to say, okay, I give. Um, I got our stuff to take care of. We got uh, sweet corn to finish. We were picking raspberries. I mean, and uh, while we're out here spraying, we just kind of, kind of let them go. So, uh, but we have uh, these guys look really rock solid. Anyhow, it's time to get it picked. It looks like a little bit tough, but uh, that's pretty good size acorn. That's not the biggest one I'm seeing out here. Uh, sorry for that quick video jerk. Uh, we got some spaghetti squash around here too and some butternut squash and here's some acorn squash You know what those are big enough I just might sneak a few of them over to the old pumpkin cannon because it's about time to start launching gourds And as old Michael Waltrip said the time he came out that gourd blower's got go Well, it's about time to bring Marlboro Madness the cannon out and those acorn squash look like they could do some damage damage to that van I have sitting up there John Lake from Lake Auto in Hartville, Ohio, brought me a Ford van, panel van, that we're going to tear up with watermelons, cantaloupes, and pumpkins, and looking like acorn squash this year, too. Once again, Bill Back and the Funds are from Mays Valley Farm Market and Winery saying thank you for stopping by.